hello guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new ever since i moved down to north carolina which if you are new here i moved from pennsylvania to north carolina at the beginning of december by myself on my own single woman not knowing anybody i pretty much just kind of picked this town off of a map did a little online research came down here one time to scope it out in person and was like yeah i like it and then moved down here and it's been one of the greatest experiences of my life and ever since i moved i've been getting so many messages and comments asking how did i adjust how did i make the decision to come down here and like be brave enough to do it and also how have i been meeting people and making friends because i've been sharing in my vlogs and on instagram a little bit here and there how i've been you know going out and socializing so i just wanted to like address all of those kinds of questions and i thought the best way to do it was just do like a chatty get ready with me because i also have some new makeup products that i am dying to try out and i just thought it would be fun like i'll try out the new makeup get ready we can chat taking a quick little break from the video to tell you about the sponsor of the video magic spoon they make guilt-free cereal that is very similar to the sugary cereal you used to eat growing up as a kid but magic spoon cereal has zero grams of sugar 13 to 14 grams of protein and only four net grams of carbs in each serving and each serving is only 140 calories. They're also keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. And Magic Spoon is so excited to announce the launch of their limited edition cereal bars. So in addition to your cereal boxes, be sure to grab some cereal bars while supplies last and be sure to use my code SAMVEY for $5 off your order. Magic Spoon is so confident in their products that it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. So don't forget to check the link in the description, use my code SAMVEY, get $5 off, and thank you so much Magic Spoon for sponsoring this video. I actually, I just got out of the shower, obviously, as you can see. So I am gonna put a little product in my hair so that way it can air dry. I'm just gonna wear it natural today, um, and that way it can air dry as I'm doing my makeup. So this is the IGK Rich Kid Coconut Oil Air Dry Styler. It's basically like a soft hair gel. I got this a few days ago, and this is my second time using it. And I don't know, I think I like it, but I'm not entirely sure just yet. So I wanna keep using it so I can decide how I feel. <laughs> um, it does smell pretty good though. It has a nice beachy like coconut smell. And lately when I've been wearing my hair curly, I haven't been parting it, I just, pull it back so then that way the curls kind of just go wherever okay so the first thing that i am going to use is this morphe by avani greg face and body illuminator i'm just going to dot a little bit of this just doing like the little c i've never used this before but i'm hoping it'll add like a glow from within underneath the foundation foundation i'm using is new as well i mean i don't think it's a new foundation but it's new to me this is the nars natural radiant Longwear foundation oh it's more liquidy than i was expecting and i'm gonna apply it with the morphe m6 brush so yeah i the reason why i moved was uh, i had been living in my hometown for most of my life and i knew i didn't want to stay there my whole entire life because i just felt like limited there i don't know it's like such a small town and i just i like change i like experiencing new things so i was just craving something different and the weather was a big factor in that too because i hate the cold now i'm applying the nars radiant creamy concealer i have been getting so many messages from people saying like oh my god you are so brave blah 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 and it's funny because i've wanted to move away since i graduated high school and especially in college like after college i wanted to get the hell out of pennsylvania i just wanted to be somewhere different but i was terrified to do it by myself 
and I've been in relationships for most of my adult life so I always thought like oh well you know when I eventually move away it's going to be with a boyfriend so I have to wait on the guy to be ready to move and want to move and none of the guys that I dated wanted to leave or they said they did but like they just never followed through with it they were like scared they had all these excuses whatever and I think I just like I don't know I just wasn't ready to do that on my own a because like financially I just couldn't but also I was just scared to do that so it's funny like looking at my life now and how things are and the way I am and like my confidence is just so crazy 18 year old me would be so proud of myself right now so I don't want anybody to think like oh my god you're so brave that's so crazy I could never like you can you definitely can because I always thought oh I never could do that but here I am I did it and let me tell you it's been amazing and I feel like I mean yeah being in a new area with someone else like with a partner is great it makes it so much easier because you have someone to like go explore with um but I feel like being by myself, it forces me to get out of my comfort zone and not be codependent and rely on somebody else, you know? And it, it, that opens up the door for like more opportunities to meet people and just discover new things, new places, stuff like that. Ooh, this light, let me turn you a little bit. If you've been thinking about making a big move, I say go for it. I mean, at the end of the day, it's like, what do you have to lose, you know? Like, yeah, it's scary and overwhelming, but, like, what else are you going to do? Are you going to just keep waiting and keep wishing? Why? Like, life is too short. Just go for it. Give it a try. Worst case scenario, that's what I told myself. Worst case scenario, if I don't like it, I can always come back. And, I mean, yes, moving is expensive and it's stressful and all that, but... Really, when it comes down to it, you can always go back. So that's what I told myself. And honestly, like, I was all over the place. I was a roller coaster of emotions. There'd be times where I would be so excited and I would feel so empowered and, like, such a badass about moving. And then there'd be times where I would be panicking and feel so much anxiety and think, like, oh, my God, is this crazy? Like, am I making the right choice? Do I, I really want to be doing this? Like, I'm not going to know anybody. This is just... This is crazy, but I just went for it. Now I'm going to use another new product. This is the Kosas Cloud Set Baked Setting and Smoothing Powder in the shade Breezy. Just pressing it in. Anyway, so yeah, when I got down here, I'm trying to think when the first time is that I actually like hung out with somebody down here. I think it was probably like at least a good like month, month and a half or so before I hung out with somebody in person. I was honestly just spending a lot of time alone. Now I'm gonna use the NYX Matte Bronzer. And I was meeting people here and there. I didn't make like actual friends and like exchange contact information or anything right away with anybody. But for example, like I was just out walking my dog around the apartment complex and I met a girl who was also out with her dog and you know I was like oh do you mind if they play with each other and say hello and our dogs played for a little bit and we chatted but you know if you have a dog that's such an easy amazing way to meet people like just go out walking your dog and if your dog's trying to play with another dog go over introduce yourself to the owner and let them know that you're new in town. Like, that's what I did with every person I talk to. And usually when people hear that, they're going to be like, oh my god, let me fill you in and tell you, like, all the good places to check out and good restaurants. And there's nothing wrong with just being like, oh, hey, uh, I literally just moved here and I know nobody. Uh, you seem pretty cool. Do you mind exchanging even if you just exchange like social media or something? I'm, I'm new here. I'm trying to make some friends have somebody to show me around Go to coffee with or something like that And I know it's like a little bit easier said than done especially if you're a more like shy reserved person which Naturally I am but you just gotta do it, you know 
This is the NYX Ombre Blush, by the way. But yeah, so I met people that way. And don't be afraid to go out exploring. Like, go out to lunch by yourself. I did it a lot of times. I would go sit in a coffee shop. I would go to lunch, go sit outside at a restaurant. There's tons of opportunity to strike up conversation with random strangers while you're out. And honestly, you never know who you're gonna meet where or when. I remember I was out at a restaurant for lunch waiting for a table and there were a few other parties of people waiting too. And I overheard these two guys talking to each other, talking about how they're both from Pennsylvania. And I was like, oh my God, what? So I went over and I was like, did I just overhear you guys saying that you're from PA? Because same i go to the dog park a lot with my dog as well and i've had so many conversations with people there another main way that i have been meeting people down here is through social media through instagram and yes a lot of people have reached out to me and like you know i already have a following so people already follow me that happen to live here and they reach out but even if you don't have like a youtube channel you're not like a, a vlogger or whatever you can just look up your city's location that's what i did just search the geo tag or if there's like a cool coffee shop or something in your town look up the location on instagram see who posted pictures with that tagged location and then see if you see anybody's photos that look like you might have something in common someone that looks kind of interesting to you and follow them and send them a message and i know some people might be like oh my god no i could never that's like so creepy and weird but it's really not like that's what social media is for there's a couple girls actually that i am following on instagram right now that live down here that i found by doing that but there's honestly nothing creepy about it like just send them a message hey i saw that you also live in this town. I just moved here recently and I don't know anybody and I'm looking to make some friends. You know, would you be interested in meeting up for coffee or getting lunch or something like that? You can also find like local groups on Facebook and that's a great way too to make sure that you're finding people that have like a similar interest as you. Search your town on Facebook, see what groups come up. I know a lot of towns have like mommy Facebook groups and stuff like that or like look up a popular restaurant or some kind of business in your town and then see who follows that business's page and who's interacting with it because then you know like oh okay they obviously live here they go to that place a lot you can also try out bumble bff i did that i never ended up meeting up with anybody from that but i exchanged messages a little bit with some people by the way i realized i forgot to mention what i was doing makeup wise um i applied becca champagne pop as my highlighter and then i applied the benefit gimme brow brow gel and now i'm taking that same bronzer i used on my cheeks putting that in my crease but yeah bumble bff try that out and if you are single i mean you know Try out some dating apps if you feel comfortable with that. Obviously, you want to be careful when you are meeting up with people in real life. You know, obviously always meet in a public place, etc. Meet them there. Don't have them pick you up. Don't give them your address. Don't go to their house, etc. But going on dates has been another way that I've met people and been able to socialize and get to try out new places and get more familiar with the area and honestly once you meet one person you can then meet other people that they know and that's what's been happening for me like now I have a little friend group which is so nice because we get to hang out all the time and we all have dogs that are similar breeds like same size same age too it's actually like fate in a way i feel like um but yeah our dogs play together so it's just like the perfect scenario and i became a part of that friend group by just you know meeting one person who then introduced me to everybody else you just can't be afraid of putting yourself out there and also like don't expect it to happen overnight you know like it's gonna take a little bit of time to meet people or you probably will meet people but it'll take time before you actually make like real genuine friends because i've met a good amount of people down here and they're cool but you know maybe not necessarily people that i would see myself getting really close with or hang out with all the time but it's just nice to know people nice to make connections nice to have somebody that you can hit up if you want to go out for lips i'm doing the charlotte Tilbury pillow talk lip liner 
And then I'm topping it off with the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Amber. And then I'm going to set everything with the Benefit Professional Super Setter Spray. My hair still kind of wet, so I am going to hit it with the diffuser a little bit. Give me one second. So here is the finished hair and makeup. See, I've been loving like not doing a part really, because then it just... I like just being able to flip it wherever. And here is the makeup. It's so glowy. I really like the finish of this foundation a lot. Um, I was in Ulta the one day and one of the employees there had the most flawless looking base. And I was like, well, what foundation are you wearing? She said it was this one and that she does bridal makeup and this is what she uses on all her brides. So I was like, okay, I'm sold. <laughs> Say no more. But I will have all of the products that I used linked in the description. Also, don't forget to check out the link and my discount code to Magic Spoon. And yeah, I hope that you found this video helpful and I don't know, maybe inspiring or motivating in some kind of way. Honestly, like this decision for me to move was the best decision ever and I mean it's only been like three months since I've been here the first month was kind of rough and there were definitely times where I felt homesick and I kind of like questioned my decision once you start making friends and you really start like establishing yourself there and like making a life for yourself it, it just feels so good and I feel like you see me in my videos and on social media and I probably come off some type of way like this super like confident you know I don't I don't give a shit kind of person but if you could see how I was growing up as a child and in high school and in college and early 20s you probably wouldn't even believe like how far I've come so truly when I tell you if I could do it you can too you really really can you just have to fake it till you make it. Honestly, that's all it's about. Anyway, um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to follow me over on Instagram. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, and I'll see you really soon in my next video. Bye.